One of the toughest parts of MS is relationships. Any relationship. Family, friends, co-workers, and medical professionals. Who to tell and when to tell. Welcome back to MS 24 7 366. I'm so glad you joined me. Well, like I said, relationships are tough with or without MS. One of the hardest decisions you have to make is who and when to tell about your MS. Honestly, not every person you know will ever need to know you even have it. I personally don't hide it from anybody. Obviously, I have a YouTube channel that um, is dedicated to my MS, so I don't have a problem talking about it with anybody. You, however, may not need or want everybody to know about the diagnosis. How do you know who you should tell and who you shouldn't or don't need to tell about MS? Medical professionals are probably the easiest of the relationships to handle. You just have to always let your doctors know what's going on with or without MS. Otherwise, how can they help you? I have often gone to my family doctor thinking I have something non-MS related going on, only to find out it is MS, and vice versa with my neurologist. Not everything is MS, but you can't assume either way. As for the other relationships, family, friends, and co-workers, the decision to disclose can be a little more difficult. Uh, the MS Society's website has a worksheet that could help you decide. It basically breaks it down into who are you telling, how much should you tell, and why are you telling somebody about it. <clears throat> you figure out the pros and cons of each and come to a you know, decision on what the best alternative for you is tell or not tell and how much or how little to say. With family, you will probably want and need to tell the ones closest to you. The ones that you live with, for sure. Uh, when one family member has MS, everybody has to deal with it and should know about it. Most likely they can tell when something's uh, going on anyway. So to avoid any unnecessary speculations, it's just usually best to tell them what's going on. They're also most likely going to be your primary caregivers when you need it, so they should know. Spouse, significant other, older children, parents, siblings, probably going to want to let them be a part of your care plan anyway. Now, for younger kids, they will need to know, but how much and how young is too young? My youngest kids don't know me without MS, therefore my grandkids have always known about MS as well. I have videos about, you know, me talking to them about MS and with them. Um, they do understand a lot more than you think they will. My youngest granddaughter is almost eight, and her and I have been talking about MS since she was about five, I guess. Maybe a little younger. Her ten-year-old sister and I talked about um, MS all the time, almost since she was born. I would talk about it when I watched her during the day when she was little, but um, and she didn't know what I was talking about most of the time, but as she got older she did, and it wasn't strange to talk about it with her or for her to ask really fairly intelligent questions about MS at a very young age. My two youngest kids, I kind of did the same thing with, so MS wasn't any big mystery to them. They didn't know me any other way anyway, so as they got older, they just understood more about what we would talk about. I did have to sit my older kids down and talk to them about it because they had no idea what MS even was. So I had to explain a lot to them. The MS Society does have quite a number of pamphlets to help explain MS to not only small children but teens and adults. I 
never have hit it when I was not doing so well. But honestly, when I was younger, I was doing much better. And people seldom knew when I had anything going on at all. People that were close to me knew. My mom told me one day she knew when I was not doing well because I would watch where I placed my feet when I walked. Something I didn't even know I did. My husband is very aware of MS. He doesn't know me without MS either. I remember the conversation we had about MS when we first started discussing getting married and, you know, the possibilities of what could be in my future. I will admit that I am kind of sad that he has only gotten the worst of me and has had to be my primary caregiver in all of this. I wouldn't want to do this with anybody else, however, and I am extremely grateful to have him on this journey with me. Friends know I have a mess because, like I said, I don't hide it. I have always spoken freely about MS and have answered any questions anybody has ever had about my MS. Your experience may be different though, and you will have to decide what to tell people and when. If you aren't comfortable with talking about it with certain people, you probably don't need to talk about it with them anyway. Not this time. I mentioned the worksheet on the MS Society website. You might want to look at it and see if it would be helpful for you. I am afraid though that I don't have a lot of advice for the co for co-workers or employers. I um, haven't worked for the majority of the time I've had MS, but you can find information on this on the MS Society website as well. Really, unless MS is going to affect your continued employment, you don't have to disclose to employers. All right, you've decided you're going to tell somebody about your MS. How do you do it? Do you do it band-aid fashion? quickly just blurt it out? Do you lead up to it? Should you have pamphlets from the MS Society to give them or do you wing it? Um, actually all of these are the correct way to do it. It's really up to you. The point I've tried to make in all of this is that relationships are hard even if you don't have MS. The key is always communication. Communication and mutual respect are the two most important factors in any relationship in my opinion. So if you didn't have that before MS, revealing MS in that situation isn't going to be much help either. Not everybody is going to react the same way to you if you tell them. I was almost 30 and when I told my mom, she started crying and wanted me to move home immediately. Some people get quiet because they don't know what to say and some people will have a barrage of questions for you. But again, this is all just my opinion and what I have experienced in my life. You can look into some of the suggestions on the MS Society website if you're now more confused than ever. Seriously though, their books and pamphlets can be very helpful. I hope I've been able to answer some of your questions about disclosing your MS to people, and I really hope you are enjoying my videos. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and about living with MS. Share this video with somebody you think it might help. Be sure to leave me a comment and let me know how you told people about your MS. Remember, life doesn't stop just because you have to.